Well, boy, we're glad you're all joining us this hour, and we are so excited to have Mr. Johnny Quinn here with us. He's been Yay. here the last hour, and, and we got one more hour to go. And you're game Such for a good it. Sport to join the girls, awesome. right? Thank you so much. So, um, you know, we talked a lot the last hour about your athletic career and and all the new different things that you have going on. And um, and I want to bring up this topic because um, Marcus Spears is a friend of the show. He's our teddy bear. We love him so much when he's here. And um, he tweeted uh, the other day um, a photo that got a lot of people talking. And um, and I want to ask you what you think about it as well. And so this is the photo that he tweeted. And um, he said, wonder if any other players get invited to these events of the Cowboys team uh, sending the, the wrong, wrong message, message to, me. to me. And um, I don't think he realized he'd get such backlash for that because I don't think he said anything bad. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I saw an interview with him last night. He's saying, hey, look, I'm just saying that it sends the wrong message to the rest of the team when these two guys, and honestly, I saw the photo and the first thing I thought was, why the hell is Tony Romo and Jason Witten in the box? There's a whole other team of men that work just as hard as they do. Why aren't they in the box with them? And it's not mm -hmm. often you see a player like hanging out with the coach. They've been at SMU basketball games together and stuff like that. And I think what Marcus That's was wrong. saying is it sort of promotes an idea of favoritism. And I think you do have to be careful. Well, go ahead. Well, you know, as a professional athlete, being in the locker room, uh, with football players, being in the locker room as a bobsled athlete in the Olympics, you, you understand that everyone has a different view. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a different perception. Right. And it's very important that that communication line stays wide open. Mm -hmm. And so in a situation like this, we want to make sure that everyone communicates. You understand, you know, why somebody might have these right. type of feelings. Mm -hmm. And that's, you got to keep that line of communication open. So would that have bothered you, though, when you were playing at UNT, if if, if your quarterback was, was sitting in a, in a box or doing something special with the coach, game. hanging out with the coach in a way that the rest of you weren't, would that bother you? Well, if, if I hope he would have invited me to come sit <laughs> and I'm just, you know, it, it's a, um, it, it's a different scenario for, for each person. And I think, you know, that, that person's feelings and, and how they perceived it is, is, is something that uh, you have to respect. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when you have a, a locker room full of 53 athletes all working towards a common goal, right. you're going to have differences. Right. And it's right. important that we keep that line of communication open. I listened to Marcus's interview last night on Fox 4, and I think what he was trying to say, because he said the same over and over, he said, when you're a player and you uh, want to go to your the, the head of the team, which in our case would be Tony Romo, you want to feel or like Jason Witten, or right. Jason Witten, and you want to feel like you can go to him sure. and say things that may you would you know wouldn't say to other people. He said, and when I, when when the player feels like that that this guy is hanging out with the mm -hmm. owner. You feel like those those lines have been drawn. It's totally and you can't go. Mm -hmm. and it's click and express yourself. And I'll tell you something, it's part of what's wrong with the Dallas Cowboys organization. <laughs> I'm no expert, but I'm just going to say this because when you when you make superstars out of this player or that player, you are it, that is detrimental to your team, Mr. Jerry Jones. Y'all remember that, that right commercial like a couple years ago when they were like, "There's no I in team," and the guy was like, "There's no we either." Do you guys remember that commercial? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I think this does send an interesting message for sure. And I know some of the feedback was a lot of people thought that Marcus was making a racial. Um, observation and he has said vehemently yeah, that that so is not the case had nothing to do with it although it is clear that there are no black people in <laughs> the picture but he was not making that point well I think no, the point in the that. lesson learned here is that you can post a picture mm. And it can go viral yes. on Twitter. Yes, you can. <laughs> Good and bad. Yes, we know Johnny. two people that have done that. That's Good right. and bad. That's right. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you. Okay, there is another issue. Sorry, as I take my earpiece out here, it's screaming in my ear. Um, I, I love this story. Okay, <laughs> yeah, a nursing home. They hire a male stripper to go in this nursing home to do a little dance for some of the women there. And oh, a yeah. family is now suing the nursing home because they say grandma there has dementia. She didn't know what she was doing when she was sticking the dollar bill in his underwear oh, there. Yes, she did. And they are angry <laughs> and they are suing. And um, this and is up I'll, in New York. I, I'll tell you, it, I, I'm on both sides of this one because I figure, you know, they're they're not dead. They're let them enjoy let life. Them, let them have a good time. And here's what I say: At what what point do you not get to vote? You know what I'm saying? They voted for this to happen. The yeah. people in the nursing home voted for this to happen. My grandmother had dementia really bad here in the Plano area, and we had her in a home. And um, I would get calls that grandma was 
um, going to visit another person of uh -oh. the opposite sex in in, in the in the place. <gasps> going Grandma's to making a visit. booty call. Grandma, <laughs> Grandma, <laughs> she was a redhead. Shall I say more? Oh, and uh, you know what? Just let them have fun. What are they suing what does it for? What Did do it you say think, what Johnny? they were suing for? I don't because they were saying that she, they should not have done that. That, that was inappropriate. I'm going to sue everybody I think shouldn't have done something. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. What are they saying? What are your for? thoughts, Johnny? Well, I, you know, this is news to me. This is the first time <laughs> I've seen that. So I'm, uh, He's like, what? Oh, my God. I don't have uh, an educated you know, comment on that. We have far. had the Chippendales dancers on before, so we feel free that. to, you know, they went shirtless. We, I'm just saying. We've got people talking about this on our social media. Stuart, what are they saying? Yeah, this, this is a pretty funny one. So Lisa Raman says, when I'm 85, I'd love to have my son give me a strip show as a joke. I'd be rocking it out in the wheelchair. Uh, Stacy Homan says... Not a this... strip show by herself. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just make that <laughs> Stacy Homan says, if this happened at my 90-year-old grandmother's home, I would give her singles. Mm. Not shingles, but singles. Um, <laughs> Allison Donnelly says, they're just aging. They're not dead. That's so, right. yeah, you know, right. lighten up. Well, I, I don't know. I... It just seems odd to see that picture. I mean, it's just so unusual. But Get you it, know Granny. what? It's, Get it's it. allowed if if the board there at the nursing home um, votes for it and everyone passes yeah, it. People then in their allowed. 80s and it's 90s entertainment. still have They're feelings. playing chess and checkers. We should get a stripper. <laughs> it beats oh, a yeah, game of get a stripper. I'll tell you what. <laughs> That's right. Okay, speaking of games, we have a fun little game to play with Mr. Johnny Quinn. When the broadcast continues, stick around. You don't want to miss it.